Let us discuss conditional sentences. It is almost every 10 sentence in your normal natural spontaneous communication will be a conditional sentence. So, when I say conditional sentences that means usually there are if and unless type of sentences. right? So, in English we have three major principal types of conditions. The first is called type 1 open or probable condition that means something is likely to happen. And for that condition we use the simple present tense in the, in the condition clause and will or can or any such modal auxiliary according to the meaning in mind and then the main verb. So, if you see the structure if plus subject plus verb and because it is the simple present tense we require s or es when the subject is third person singular and then result part subject plus will or can or may etcetera any modal auxiliary and then the verb. You can see the example sentence if he works hard he will pass the test. If he works hard that is simple present and he will pass the test or he can pass the test or he may pass the test right according to meaning we can take. Now, this condition is for either present time or future time and it is likely to happen. We are talking about an average person if he works hard he will succeed right. If you run fast you will win the race. Now, we go to the second type. Now, the second type is again for present or future time, but it is not likely to happen. It is improbable type. Now, to convey that improbability we use the past tense forms. So, the forms are past, but the meaning is not past and that is why it is a little difficult to understand. So, if you see the sentence structure if plus subject plus simple past tense. So, the conditional clause has simple past tense and the result clause is subject plus either would or could depending on the meaning and verb. Here we normally take would and could in our day to day life communication. So, when we say if he worked hard he would pass the test that means we know that he is not going to work hard it conveys a negative message. If I had means I do not have, if I knew means I do not know. So, past tense form, but conveying the present meaning and negative meaning opposite meaning right. So, if he worked hard he would pass the test that means we know he is not going to work hard. So, there is no question of passing the test right. That is why it is very often used in the titles of essays when you have to use some imaginary situation. If I was a bird means I am not a bird right. And here we can use the past tense form was or were both with I or he or she. If he was here or if he were here both are possible right. So, if I was a bird means I know I am not a bird and I will never develop wings right. So, I will never be able to fly, but still I, I say if I was a bird I could fly or if I was a bird I would fly. If I knew the answer I would tell you because I do not know the answer. So, condition part using the past tense forms and the result part could and would and the main verb right. In interviews very often people use this people ask some local politician what would you do if you were the prime minister? What would you do if you were in his position in his place? So, for example, if you have seen international uh, beauty contest then there may be a question like this what would you do if you won the title right. So, that is type 2 improbable imaginary condition conveying a negative negative means in the in the sense opposite message if I had means I do not have if I knew means I do not know if he was here means he is not here, if he was here he would help me, but he is not here. So, in that sense opposite meaning, but again it is for present or future time though the tense is past the uh, structure is past tense forms right. And the third type this is the only type for the past time impossible type, 
Why is it impossible type? Because something that happened in the past you cannot change. Now, here it has a specific pattern. It uses the past perfect tense here had plus past participle the third form of the verb and the result is ma that is modal auxiliary plus have plus past participle right. So, for example, if he had worked hard he would have passed right. So, if he had worked hard that means he did not work hard and he has actually failed, but still you make a sentence if he had worked hard he would have passed. And here in place of would you can also use could, he could have passed, he had the ability, but he did not use it or he might have passed, perhaps he would have passed. Now, this third pattern has an alternative pattern as well. In formal writing many people they do not use if and to do the work of if they bring this had in the beginning. So, they say had he worked hard he would have passed if he had helped me I would have been in a better position that means, had he helped me I would have been in a better position position. So, if he had or had he these are the two alternative patterns does it make sense yeah. So, three types of conditions probable, improbable and impossible first two refer to present or future time the third one refers to past time first likely to happen if he works hard he will succeed second which is not likely to happen we just say for the sake of speaking if he worked hard he would succeed but we do not know he is not going to work hard and the third suppose he has failed already then we say if he had worked hard he would have succeeded ok. So, thank you very much.